Welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 142 div 2 and the problem is gaming forces. Code Forces gaming problems. So let's straight away jump to the problem. And uh, the problem states that uh, there is a guy who is very curious to play games and uh, the game is like this okay he have like uh, n monsters so n monsters each of them will have hi health so hi is basically like an integer it's given in the constraints while you read you will get it so something like one two three four five these are all the monsters okay and five four three two these numbers represent the health of the monster now uh, there are two spells in the game that is a magical spell if we cast the magical spell he can follow these two rules so choose exactly two alive monsters and decrease their health by one. So let's say we'll randomly take four five. I don't know what happens now. We'll take four five. If we cast the first spell in the first operation, it decreases two numbers, decreases their health by one. That is three, four. Again, we can do the same thing, right? Second operation, it will be, we decrease it by one. So it will be two and three. Again, we do third operation. Again, we decrease it one, two, and like so on. This is the first rule. And what is the second rule? Choose a single monster and kill it. So we choose some guy, kill this guy. Three, kill this guy. In one spell, you can kill one guy. Okay. When a monster's health becomes zero, it dies. So here, if we say, if we do the fourth operation here, we subtract it by one, it becomes zero, and two becomes one. When it becomes zero, this four, right? This four gets automatically killed. That means it dies. What is the minimum number of spell cast Monocarp should perform in order to kill all monsters? So he have two spells. He can perform any operation, but everything should be killed. So let's try to understand this in coding terms. What do they mean by that? One, two, three, four, five. You have a set of numbers in the array. Our aim is to remove all the numbers in the array by following two rules. First rule states that you can remove this array directly, but the cost of removing is one. Single remove is one. They are also telling that, boss, instead of taking one number from the array, you can sell collectively select two and subtract it by one, two, three, until it becomes zero, you have to add the cost. So here, three, two, one, zero, the cost is four. Now, if you notice one thing, let's say, let's try to, this is the overall problem. We have to find what is the minimum number of spells, what is the minimum cost you need to get. Now, let's try only this one. We are not considering the first one at all. We'll see only this. Choose a single monster and kill it, okay? Now, if one, two, three, four, five is the array, we, we take one number from the array, kill it, one number, kill it, kill it, kill it. So at max, we take only five operations, right? By following the second spell alone, we follow the second spell alone, we get five operations and kill everyone. Now, let's say you choose exactly two ally monsters and decrease their health by one. We already tried this example. We are getting like four operations for first spell. For these two numbers alone, you are getting from this, you are getting four operations for first spell. But for these two numbers, if you apply the second rule, choose a single monster and kill it, you can kill, kill, you can get in two operations. If you apply the second rule, it is going for four operations. So we think that, okay, the first uh, rule is not at all valid. We'll simply do, okay, what is the size of the array? We'll count it and just print it. It will fail. There might be some uh, small hunch to it or small trick to it, right? So let's take an example where the number should be less than two operations so this one the best it can give for two numbers is two operations let's say if the number is what about one and one if the number is one and one we choose exactly two alive monsters one is an alive monster one is an alive monster decrease their health by one so in one operation if you apply the first spell the number will be zero and zero so within one operation you got zero two numbers erased from the array if you apply the choose a single monster and kill it you kill this one in one operation this one in two operation there will be two operations for the second spell so we got an idea now so if the number is one if there is a pair of one you can delete that number 
with one operation so that's how we get it so let's say for example you take one 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 two three four if a number is one we can apply the first operation that is decrease that to zero this is one operation decrease the number by one in one operation again if we do the second operation it will be one plus one operation it will be two operation we don't need it we need only one operation the minimum is this this is for second spell and this is for first spell so this is better right and two three four anyway we can't do it since we already proved here we can solely only remove it so second spell you take one operation one operation and one operation so you remove how much one two three three plus one two so you need five operations to remove all these numbers so let's go to the questions example and see like how did they implement it so this is the questions example so if you see here one two one two so you see two here right two what did i say if two any number that is more than one you perform the second operation you directly kill it with the cost of one one two and if two ones are there you take it together one two three okay that's it and this is one two three one two three four here one doesn't have a pair so we have to kill it forcefully that is fine so that's all and now uh, this is the submitted code if you want to have a look you can just uh, refer this submission URL now let's walk you through the code so let's take the same example that we tried now okay let's take one more one okay so we have uh, we have eight numbers what do we do is we are telling the code that whenever you see double ones a pair of ones consider it as a single number to kill it that's the only logic here so you count the number of ones here how many number of ones so num1 will store five okay five ones are present now you are doing n minus num 1 divided by 2. What does it mean? Out of all the numbers, out of all the no total numbers minus num 1 divided by 2 means what? Whenever I find a 1, don't consider it as two ones, consider just as 1 because each number represents one operation and two ones together represents one operation. So if it is 5 by 2, it is 2, right? Here 5 is there, 5 by 2 is 2. You can also ask like 4 by 2 is also 2. This 2, this 2 will get paired up. But this is an extra. How is this getting handled? This getting handled already by this number. So if you see here 8 minus 2, it is 6, right? You count again 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how we do it. And if there are only 4 ones, like one 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 two three four we have total of seven numbers minus four right four by two seven minus two five so one two three four five so these we apply second spell second spell second spell first spell first spell and that's all this is a very simple problem so have a look at it and if you have any doubts please feel free to drop down in comments and see you in next video thank you